All right, well, what does it mean to be a Presbyterian? Well, first and foremost, we'll talk church government. Um, there are actually different types of church governments, like for instance, the Catholic Church and the Episcopal Church, they have what's called a hierarchical government with you know, bishops and all this stuff, and it's a top-down leadership structure. Um, Baptists and maybe like more Pentecostal type churches are, are often very independent. Um, they're, sometimes they're led just by one pastor who makes all the decisions. Sometimes they're led by the congregation, kind of like a pure democracy where they vote and make all the decisions. But Presbyterians, have a representative form of government led by elders. And it's actually very similar to uh, the United States government with checks and balances. Um, and so these elders, this is a, it's a group of men uh, called the session. If you ever hear about session meetings, um, that's the elders meeting together usually once a month. Um, and the word elder, it doesn't mean old people. <laughs> it actually comes from a word in the Greek, in the Bible. Um, the word is presbuteros which means elder, but it's also sort of like um, the word overseer or shepherd. Uh, you can find it in places like Titus 1 and 1 Timothy 5 and 1 Peter 5, etc. And so these elders are supposed to be mature believers in Christ uh, who are responsible for shepherding people in the church and for oversight of the church's ministries and, and uh, just overall function. And um, they're, they're designed to care for the body, but they must be qualified men. Uh, they, you, you can go to, fir, to 1 Timothy 3 or Titus 1, and you see these qualifications for elders. Um, it's not just for anybody. Uh, it's, I think I'd encourage you to read those passages. So why is this important, this type of government? Well, we believe it's biblical. Uh, and it's also important because it means there's accountability for pastors. Uh, I, I, I would be afraid, I think, to be a pastor of a church where it's just me and it's all about my decisions and I can kind of do whatever I want. That scares me because guess what? I'm a sinner <laughs> and I make bad decisions and sometimes I sin in my decisions. So I love that I have accountability, that we have accountability here. Um, it's also important because it's, it's in, in governing the church, we have this collection of wisdom involved in, in our, our session. And uh, that means that there's going to be, I think, more wisdom involved in how the church is run than if it was just one person. Uh, and then there's an emphasis on connection within the church, but also within our geographical area. We have a group of other churches that gather together uh, called the Presbytery. And the Presbytery is actually also part of a larger group of, that's, that encompasses the entire country called the General Assembly. So it's a very connectional uh, type of church government. No one is alone. So what else does it mean to be Presbyterian? Well, traditionally it means to be reformed in our theology. Just very quickly, to be reformed uh, means to follow in the tradition of guys like Martin Luther, John Calvin, John Knox, etc. Uh, it's an emphasis on salvation by grace through faith in Jesus Christ alone. If it's an emphasis on the Bible as the inerrant authoritative word of God. Um, it's an emphasis on the sovereignty of God. Uh, and, and it's, in our case, uh, we definitely have committed to those things. We're part of a denomination um, called the Presbyterian Church in America, which is different from certain other uh, Presbyterian denominations. And it's different because it's conservative. We are part of a, a group of, again, a group of churches that truly believe the Bible is God's word and that we must submit ourselves to it even the parts we don't like, even the parts that are hard to hear. And uh, this is, I think, so important because uh, if we leave, uh, if, if we try to be our own authority and we say the Bible's not authoritative, um, then, well, then guess what? We're, we are leaving ourselves open to massive, massive spiritual errors. Uh, so I'm, I'm very appreciative to be a part of the PCA. Uh, and this also means one last thing is that we have this document. It's our confession. It's called the Westminster Confession of Faith. It was written in the, in the 1640s in London, so uh, almost 400 years ago. And uh, it, it basically is a document that says, here's what we think the Bible teaches. And it's not perfect. In fact, it's subservient to the Bible. But it is a very strong, God-honoring, Christ-centered document and so if you want to know what do we believe about Jesus or what do we believe about the Holy Spirit or about the sacraments or about marriage, you can go to this document and find out exactly what we believe. And uh, so I would encourage you to check out the Westminster Confession of Faith. 
Uh, it's, it answers these types of questions and more. It always relies on the Bible. That's a little bit about what it means to be Presbyterian, and uh, I hope that is helpful.